I'm ready. So, <clears throat> any public input? Yeah, I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I just want to tell the board what a great job the National Honor Society did in helping serve our Thanksgiving dinner at the Senior Center. Oh, nice. We served over 150 people, and they were outstanding. They really did a good job. That's so I just great. want to let you guys know, the National Honor Society is right up there. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to hear good things like that. They'll be serving dinner tomorrow night, too, right? Yeah. Yes. Before the chorus concert. Exactly. So. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. No further public input. So next item on the agenda is approval of minutes for November 20th. Second. Any, any errors, omissions, or corrections? I have one. Ooh, I, need a lot. I do. Um, the last line here says Patty Graffer excused at 6:35. So I want to add. Uh, when we went into non-public, Millie Nelson left at 7:30 p.m. Um, motion oh, Cook Woodson to come out of non public at 7 45 p.m. Mm -hmm. Motion carried 3 to 0. <coughs> and then motion Cook and Woodson to adjourn at 7 46 p.m. Motion carried 3 to 0. <laughs> and we respectfully submit it in. At what time, in 6 30? Oh, 7.46. Any other one before that was 7.45? Um, next item on the agenda is did manifest. We, what? Did we, do we have to accept the amendments and then we wrote it? Oh, we didn't. No, we didn't. Somebody's. Okay, I'll make a motion to accept the minutes as amended. And who's seconding that? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries, thank you. Um, manifest or down the table. Tell them real quick with the manifest. There's usually a summary. Do we have that this time or, or is, it just just in, is it in the them. middle? Oh, thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Sorry. Yes, there is. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Tom. <laughs> um, okay. Budget fiscal year 1819, <clears throat> I think. Uh, there were a number of reports that were issued for the November 20 meeting, I believe it was. And before you tonight, you should find a little addendum sheet. Since that time, we got some upda updated information from school care that the renewal rates will be 2.4%, 2.4, rather than the 4% that I had that's in the budget so that's far. Nice. That's so cool. that's that's a reduction in cost of 18855 Okay. Which you can add to the bottom line on the last series of reports you had to bring the expenditures to eighteen thousand nine hundred dollars favorable. The revenue report at that point was showing uh, seventy one thousand six hundred dollars unfavorable to the current year's budget. Included with the school care information was. <coughs> A refund of surplus announcement um, with school care. Everyone is 85.15 for last fiscal year, so I took 85% of their refund of surplus and added that to your revenue, which still leaves the revenue 14,597 unfavorable to this year. But the net now in total is 4,303 favorable to this year's budget. Okay. So that's where we're starting at now. Um, the question becomes where do we go from here? We have not formally finalize next year's budget. Is that what we're looking at? Right, that's, that's what we're looking at here. Yeah. And the last guidance I heard was try to come in at net zero, mm -hmm. which we have achieved. 
Okay. And now it's a matter of whether that's good enough or <clears throat> you want to do something beyond that. Now that net zero, um, what is the possibility of, because we don't know if the contract's going to yield as far as increases. Mm -hmm. um, is there still any wiggle room? I mean, if we were really wanted to get to zero, zero, with the contracts ratified, do we have any wiggle room? Is, is the gym roof, I mean the gym cosmetic? It's still in there. It's still in there? Yeah, there, and there's some other things that, uh, some adjustments that will come that will probably free up a little bit. I think the big, uh, the big unknown <coughs> right now, I think is, frankly, the one thing that I think concerns me as much as anything is what we're looking at in tuition, yeah. out of district placement for students. We're, mm -hmm. we're going to exceed 300,000 this year, this, this budget year, the way it looks, or at least approach it, um, which is well unaccessible to put into the budget. Um, and, that, and that was hard to predict from year to year. So I think that's, you know, there's things that can happen. I mean, fuel prices could, could change, but we do have some, at least for a year, have some room to work there with the, with the uh, capital fund that we have. And we do have some money in the capital fund for tuition as well, but there's basically enough there that uh, we could do it pretty quickly. So we'd have, to, we'd have to, I think, to answer your question, I mean, from my perspective, we'd have to go back and do a pretty thorough um, rethinking of some programs. Um, perhaps some personnel. Again, that's where you know, unfortunately, personnel is where is where the the, the quickest, directest, most direct uh, way to find money in a budget. And of course, that's linked to programs as well. But there are things that uh, there are certainly things in the budget that we do because we think that's part of the overall program that we have to look at from time to time. You know, I think that. Uh, and I think I think down the road, too. And this is this is one of those uh, this is one of those spend money to save money. But I, I do think that we really need to look at what it's costing us to transport students, small groups of students, to events, golf, tennis, uh, alpine skiing, sometime other other events that have a you know a dozen students, ten students. You know, we're spending a significant amount of money on transportation for those students through our, our provider. And I think we're going to have to look seriously at uh, some type of a, of a, uh, a vehicle to do some of that ourselves. So that's something that, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not passing that off as a bu big budget saver. That's probably going to be a, a break even, save a little bit probably. Probably be a little bit more convenient, a little bit more uh, efficient. But, uh, yeah, I think that, I think really that, um, as as we as we said, we started with a with a budget as is, and that's kind of where we started last year. Frankly, you know what would look just to kind of keep things as they are, as they were then, and, and to keep things status quo last year because of the increased expenses we were seeing. Some things was going to require some additional uh, revenue uh, this year, at least to keep things as they are. And I, I, I say that, but it, having knowing that again, labor costs are going to go up most likely. Uh, through the negotiations process and subject to obviously the hearing and delivery session, but uh, to find the town vote. So, <clears throat> I don't know if I've answered your question. I think yeah, that, I just, I mean, I think there, uh, in any budget, there's always there's always choices to be made. Yeah. So, can we find the money? Of course, we can find the money. Well, will some things go away in the process of that? Yes, some things will go away. This year's budget, uh, Tom and I did some work on it. The other day, as I indicated in my mailing to you, and you know we're we're in the black, not a huge amount. We're certainly not sitting. We're certainly not sitting there with six to seven hundred thousand dollars to give back at the end of the year, like we have some years. Uh, it's probably less than half of that at this point, depending on what happens the rest of the year. So, you know, I guess that's that's uh, again ultimately up to the board to decide how how. They want to present that um, through the process, through the hearing, and delivery session, and so on. It seems to me that some things on the agenda tonight, and probably a non-public, may have something to do with budget. So I'm not ready to say. 
Mm -hmm. We're going to cut more. Right. Right. Until we can talk. No, I'm Because you just said that we had um, uh, Fitzboy wasn't as bad as what we thought, right? Till there's income yeah. there. You budgeted for more. What, what was well, you? we're going to be discussing certain things in, in that, but I right. think my point is only in that when you start talking about this is our budget, this is where we are, yeah. we're not there yet because we will have things coming and going. Yeah. Hopefully still, more more yeah. coming in. <laughs> yeah. We're not halfway through yet. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So. Some things are fairly easy to predict, some things are exactly yeah. or not. So. We don't we don't know yet of course how much we're gonna spend on snow plowing. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, we're safe to go so I mean, far. pretty good so far. So far, so, so, far, so good. It doesn't really cost. You know, it's, uh, yeah. so we'll see. Well, I think the fact that we got to zero without a lot of major uh, work yeah. is mm -hmm. good. Yeah. And Commandable. I think it's a really good baseline that if we have to do something, at least we've gotten to zero already. Yeah. And, that, and I think, and that's frankly in this year's budget, then looking at next year, that's a function of the things that we did. Mm -hmm. Towards the end of last year, we, we had two elementary teachers leave uh, Lakeway. We didn't fill either one of those positions. Class sizes went up because of that. Retirement. Um, yes, and the retirements and some things that we did last year that you know have helped 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 us with that. We've been trying to be as careful as we can and as tight as we can on staffing and programs this year, <coughs> and we made do with some things uh, with the existing staff that we have already. So that's, that's a good job. But the you know, but I think, and I think the, the thing to take away as much from this this document that Tom gave is the revenue. You know that and that revenue well, that doesn't include things that are still in progress. Old Day Kindergarten would potentially kick that up a little bit, not not a lot. So because of that, are we going <clears> to <throat> be, because we already <clears throat> run a full day kindergarten? Mm -hmm. Are we going to get that quote unquote eleven hundred dollars? We do. If, 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 it, if it in up. fact becomes yeah, if it in fact becomes law, yes. Okay. If it's funded, it, it will adjust the average daily membership. Okay. To recognize. Oh right, because we only claim it was a half day half student. Half day. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I think as I've said it again and again, but a nice, nice convenient way to remember it is that the. Uh, Stabilization grant goes <clears throat> down about sixty thousand dollars a year every year for the next twenty some years. Now we're going to automatic. We're going to start out automatically sixty dollars, sixty thousand dollars less. So while the addition of all the or funding, at least partial funding of all the kindergarten, could potentially add a, about you know around that amount of money, it's kind of a wash. But it's you know, obviously it's better with it than without it. Sure. And and that and that the whole stabilization grant reduction process is of course being discussed again with the legislature. And yeah. So time will tell what happens with that. Yeah, and vouchers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whether that'll be new money or taken from the Louisiana district. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. that's all on the table right now. Yeah. Any further comments from anybody? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, the next thing on the agenda is unfinished business, uh, Warren Street Architects. Um, I think uh, Steve has something to say about that, but I know that we had um, a meeting in September, September 12th, with a couple of past board members, Kim and I, I guess, to study, talk about Lakeway Elementary School. And one of the things was to get a feasibility study. So I think um, you can discuss that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I, and I sent you, uh, again, some information on this. Uh, the, the Fee, as you can see, it was submitted by by uh, Jonathan Hale at, at Warren Street for the for, to do the study. And what what I gave you is all I have from him. I don't have a full contract. I don't have a full proposal. Like this is the this is the email. But again, basically, what they would do is uh, was go through the go through the building and again provide us uh, with with the most immediate 
issues that need to be addressed, and I did ask for that to be spread out over several different years, different different uh, different tier tier uh, in terms of when when certain things would need to happen. Um, the fee the fee that he proposed for that uh, is fifteen thousand five hundred, as I indicated. Um, I did ask him about cost estimates. Cost estimates weren't included in that in that fee. Um, so if we wanted to, them to do also, this is what needs to be done, and this is a, at least a ballpark figure of what it will cost, uh, that would be a, an additional fee uh, above the 15.5 of about 3,000. So, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a chunk of money, but I think that, uh, frankly, it's something that we've been talking about doing. I'm not aware of, I've, I've tried to research what I can and ask people, I'm not aware of any, any comprehensive study like this has been done with Lakeway. It's been pieced out. Maybe had someone come in and look at this and give a bid or someone come in and look at that and give a bid. But to my knowledge, no comprehensive study of the building has been done in terms of what's really what's really needs to be done and what's really deficient and what's you know maybe not perfect but at least is functional. So I noticed on your note mm -hmm. that they would are they still planning to have a rewritten re report by January 10th? Mm-hmm, yes. Which is the same day as our budget hearing. Yep, it's <laughs> cutting it close. Very close. Um, so, I guess, I guess, my thoughts, my thoughts are that if we have roughly $19,000 mm -hmm. right now, to award them the study to get that done so we can have it in a timely manner. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, I still I, feel that some, someday, soon, we're going to have to replace Lakeway. Yeah. And I think without the uh, cost estimates, it's going to be difficult to really gauge. So if I, I would be in favor of including that in the yeah. proposal. And, is, and the other thing I would ask is that is there any chance that they might get this done maybe a couple of days before <laughs> the budget hearing? So I mean I guess I, do we have to do the warrant we don't have to do the warrant articles at the budget hearing, right? We just do a budget hearing. When do the final warrants have to be in? Uh, they've got to be posted with the budget I believe it's the twenty fifth of January. So okay. we, we but even if you have something proposed if it doesn't come up at deliberative, it will disappear. Right. Right. Deliberative is when it right. action is taken. Right. So anyway, the last day for CBA is the ninth. Um, the delivery is two seven. Two seven. Because I certainly wouldn't want to talk about it at the budget hearing. Mm -hmm. At least we could bring it up preliminarily. Yeah. You know how definite will this be to begin to get the community aware of mm -hmm. where we are? It says the last day to post warrant January. budget and default budgets is January 29th. So we have time. So we have a little bit of a time. Yeah. Uh, delivery. Yeah, and I mean, the, in the hearing, that, that hopefully they'll be well attended. They'll be a good time to at least engage in some initial conversation with the community regarding the, the future of the building. I mean, I, I think it, I think it, it boils down to either 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 replace it or commit some significant funds over a period of years to do significant upgrades there. And, you know, that's I don't think that's the best choice, but. Uh, that, that's something. not not for me to decide. Yeah. But we need something. something. Yeah. I need something that's right. So do we need to make a motion on this? I think we should. Yeah, please. Okay. I'd like to make a motion then that we award the contract to Johnson Hale of um, Warren Street Architects um, for the total sum of fifteen five plus the three thousand is it three thousand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three thousand to cost include cost, cost estimates. Second. Any further discussion from the board? 
Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. So, I will assume you'll get back in the room. Yeah, I will. Yeah, if he wants to know. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. <coughs> Nothing other new business. Um, committee reports, personnel. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, facilities. Yeah, I think um, we'll probably be discussing a lot of that when Steve talks about the um, proposal he's going to submit for the, what is it called, Steve? Yeah, this is the, cap the uh, infrastructure investment fund. Yes, yeah, safety request. Yeah, we spent a lot of our time at the meeting talking Here's about that. that. This, is, this is the spreadsheet I shared with you. I gave you a hard copy here so you have it in front of you. <coughs> Okay. So these are the items that we, the facilities committee, agreed to present to the board. Yes. I don't know how many of you had a chance to look at, at the links that goes to the state site, but uh, you can always go back and give you a good sense of uh, there's some more yeah. the good sense of uh, what's been proposed, what's been approved, what hasn't been approved, the parameters for these funds. Um, there's a big, big priority placed on items related directly to safety, building security, uh, things like um, cameras, um, for you know improving the safety of entrances. A lot of things we've already done, frankly, have been approved pretty, pretty routinely with that group. At least, at least approved uh, initial approval. Um, items such as replacing of heat, air conditioning, those types of things have not been approved at this point. Unfortunately, because I would like to uh, put a you know, ventilator, a few you know, ventilators forward, but they, they basically say don't bother with that. Do we want to discuss any of this now? Or? Yeah, I think the, 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 for me to submit any of this to the state, mm -hmm. there's a grant request that must be approved by the board. So mm -hmm. approval by the board simply allows me to submit these items, doesn't, doesn't bind us to, to doing anything. But the board, obviously, because there is there is a there is a local commitment there. There is a local cost, as you can see with each of those items. Well, I quickly tallied the local share mm -hmm. of all of them were approved is seventy one thousand dollars. Yep. Seventy one. Seventy one. But now, if we do get approval on these, obviously we're not bound to do the repair. But no. if we accept the funds, yeah, then right. we're bound to do it. Yes, we are. But if we do the <coughs> approval, we have to go by it. We have to follow this workflow. We have to fix these things yeah. you designated. Yeah, because you, you can't just use it elsewhere if something no. else comes up. Okay. Yeah, each one's approved individually. Yeah, each one's approved individually. Okay. Although oh, I'll, prob I'll okay. probably group the cameras together because it'll be one package. I but, have some uh, questions. Uh -huh. I thought we had done all of the cameras. This is what I was going to ask too. Is is it is it a <coughs> upgrade that's tied into the software that the cameras are tied into, or? No, I think it's just some additional cameras that they've found who are still, you know, that if ideally they would like to have. I think the um, the Lakewood camera, I think, was a single camera. I believe it was in the cafeteria mm -hmm. because it's not picking up the whole entire. There's a couple of blank spots spot. or blind spots from the camera. So a camera shooting in the other direction or would pick up those blind spots. And there's not uh, a camera. That's a low figure. What's that? There's, none, there's no cameras here either. Correct. Correct. Right. So the SAU cameras were in this okay. building primarily for the entrance and the parking lot. Mm -hmm. um, the Daisy Bronson uh, high school cameras, I think, were some of the remaining cat corridors, I think, that were mm -hmm. um, not currently under surveillance. And then at Lakeway, I think it was... Um, I'm oh, sorry, the academy building, it was, the, I believe there's no cameras in the academy building, correct? Oh, wow. So it was that we need to have them in, um, particularly the main floor where the academy classrooms are, mm -hmm. right. and then potentially down in the gymnasium or in the hallway by the gymnasium. Mm -hmm. How many students go to the academy and are in there at one time? Any, at any one time, probably 20. And there's no room in, in our building to house? There. I wouldn't say that it would be impossible. I think that uh, some of the things educationally that we try to do with with uh, they need to be with with that program, it helps that they have access to both buildings. 
which they do. I mean, they, they use both buildings, but there's certainly times. How many times it costs to cost effect it in? I, I think we could put them all under one roof. Uh -huh. my, my understanding is that the alternative school has a capacity for 26 students. Yeah. And I don't know how many of those students of the 26 go across the road to the high school to have some classes. All, all of them do at some point. Mm -hmm. They at least have some classes across in the, in the main building. And of course, they have lunch in the main building. But yes, mm -hmm. some of them have some of the other, and they have access to the programs, which is important. Um, yeah, I think I mean, those are good questions because I think, as, especially last year, we were looking at our budget situation, and I think it was pointed out from time to time that why, why are we still using that building when we did all this here? That was one yeah. of the, Right, the rationale, um, and then I've heard, I've asked, I've sought out different different viewpoints on that. I think the, at least what some of the understanding was that no, it wasn't acceptable to use it as it was being used, which was the house house eighty to ninety to hundred students, right. um, and and of course it, that's why it's been drastically reduced in terms of the number of students. But, you know, the academy students. No, when there were when there was junior high school students, middle school students, yeah, whatever those numbers, I'm sure those were okay. 100 or better. So, so the, the academy sprinkler system is part of like the third floor, the, up, the upper floor, yeah. which currently does not have um, it's a mall sprinkler system. Yeah. 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 It's also where they're storing all the drama. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah. Props and and clothing, everything. So we we talked about an alternative to get that stuff out of the floor to comply with the yeah. 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 Yeah.
Because I, I guess my concern, because I know that the drama club uses the third floor, they can't use it anymore. Correct. Because we've been cited on that. Uh, mm -hmm. So where are we going to put it? We talked about in the, in the committee, we haven't decided that we were going to, I think we were putting it out to get some bids or some pricing was to look at some off-site storage similar to the storage units that are on Union Street, Union Street where it's like a garage. You roll it up and you've got, and it's a flat fee per month that might be 45 or $50 a month um, for it um, at some of the, the storage places nearby. Um, and that was looked at as an alternative. It would provide dry storage. It would provide uh, accessible anytime you need. It's fairly close to the school, so we're not having to cart from across town. Um, and that would also resolve the um, safety issues that are of concern to the chief of fire department. Mm -hmm. So what do you need from us in response to this? I think, I think if, you're, if you're okay with at least working with this, and this is an initial list, there could be other things that will come up. This, this fund is going to go for a while. Give me the authority to submit these for consideration. Right. I'm good with that. Okay. And the asbestos removal, we just don't have, we don't have estimates on as far as? Yeah. Okay. And I think, I think the academy building window replacement, we'll see. Right. Fact, that was kind of a kind of a ballpark yeah, right. idea. We said that could, it could cost that, that much just to, just to deal with the caulking, believe it or not. Yeah. So who knows? <clears throat> we may want to think, uh, some, we're going to need to do something with those windows. I'm not sure hmm. to make them safer, though. I do know that if we're going to continue to occupy that building. I said I said before the build the building oh, yeah, is, is an is an old old building but I gotta give I gotta give our particular custodial staff and maintenance staff their credit they did a good job with it they keep it clean and get it painted and it's a structurally sound building yeah mm -hmm. yeah, it's, 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 yeah we've it's always heard that it had good bones I was probably true good bones right good yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah probably true milk rats at the I can make a motion that we, um, we release our superintendent to submit this application uh, on behalf of the board. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, we had one additional, I don't know if we want to discuss it here, Jim, I think it's appropriate, the discussion we had about snow plowing. And the three inch to one inch that we originally <laughs> so we originally on the snow plowing agreement had agreed to plow every three inches, mm -hmm. but we had one storm already that dropped about an inch, and what happened was it created freezing in the parking lots and ice and ruts and was found as a as a dangerous. It ended up being fairly hazardous in the parking lots, and so we actually the group decided that we um, we might need to consider going back to the commercial recommendation that was initially given to us where they plow if there's an inch. Because what will happen is that three inches, if you don't plow and you get an inch today and you get an inch tomorrow, Why don't we that just, just do, do maintenance? Because now we have to be plowing. I mean, if it, to me, if, if I was in that industry and I saw a parking lot that was slippery and, and slushy and water, I'd go, you have to go fix it. I mean, it might not be just plowing. Can it be just if it needs attention or maintenance? Or, or sanding. You have to define it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it could be sanding, it could be salting, it could be... I mean, I think, yeah, if you think of just your home driveway, if you're, on your, when your first snowstorm, you get an inch or two and you don't shovel it, you just leave it there. Two days later, it drops to 20 degrees and it freezes. Mm -hmm. You now have frozen ruts in your driveway and that's a, a hazardous to the vehicles oh, yeah. coming in and out, to people walking. Um, and I think it increases our risk to liability for our students, our faculty, teachers, families um, coming in and out of our buildings. So. We discussed the, the need to probably consider the one inch rule. And we need to verify whether or not he's, he's equipped to do that. Right. Because mm -hmm. he has other accounts, and I don't know how big his operation is, but if we had three days in a row of one inch snowfalls, is he going to be able to? Yeah, I think so I'm not sure if Dale was reaching out to him or not, but I, I know the time yeah. we left the meeting. I think, I, think, I think he will, based on our conversation tonight. I think you want to wait for okay. the board to, okay. to give some direction on that. I don't think we really have a choice. Yeah. 
And that includes our, our playground at Lakeway is tar from the lower level. So if we leave that for one inch and it freezes and then sets and kids have no place to play. Right. We've got we've got icy situations for the kids and and staff and faculty that are out there and as well as you know, we didn't have this before though. We didn't have these problems before. Well, because they were plowing they were plowing on a regular basis. That's yeah, they were plowing it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what right. I was hoping so for. Current, so currently we've signed up for a three inch, is that it? Correct. And you want to go to one inch. Which was the original recommendation, which is how they handle their commercial properties. Mm -hmm. Their residential properties, they do three inches. But commercial well, properties, they do your, one inch. Your house and my house. You got it. But commercial properties, they have the one inch recommendation, and we, Fine. We're, we were trying to think cost effective wise to stick to the one inch, but I mean to the three inch, but. Mm -hmm. I think after the first small snow we got, we realized that the thawing and refreezing oh. that caused some concerns in the parking lot. Okay. Yeah. You want a consensus? Or you? I think. I think. What I hear is, that, I mean, w with with some discretion, right? Yeah. Because yeah. it's going to be. They'll have to resubmit the contract. I just don't. Well, I, I think it all depends. You know. Snowing. What we've had mostly lately is a mixture of snow and rain, yeah. Yeah. which causes the ice. We're going to get some of this If you week. get just fluffy, duffy snow, yeah. you're fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it also depends when that happens. If you've got fluffy snow kept in in the middle of the school day, yeah. and buses and cars have a hard time coming into the loops or into the parking lots, that's one argument. If we get, you know, if the snow starts at 11 o'clock at night, maybe it, it's reasonable to let it snow and pile up until 4 or 5 a.m. and get out yeah. there and plow yeah. it all yeah. at once. Right. And that might be something that Dale has to just connect with the, with the company and kind of figure out how they work that out because it wouldn't make sense to come every hour in the middle of the night. No. But certainly during school time, we've had many storms start at 11 a.m. and by 2 o'clock we've got 4 or 5 inches on the yeah. ground. And yeah. Okay. Yeah, depending on which weather reports you read, the, the, what I'm seeing here now, they've called off the snow that we were, they were talking about for this week, so we'll see. If, I have some yeah. other skiers, but not here. Yeah. Okay, so you take that back to Dale and we'll I will. Right. Okay. Yeah, the, 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 the town spoiled us a bit. It will probably be hard to, to do it as well as Joe and his crew was doing it. tonight and adoption. DGD school district credit cards um, for adoption. Do you hear a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. The next one is a uh, long one. Yeah, it's very long. <laughs> Policy EHB regulation, local records retention schedule, second read and adoption. And I think. Um, quite a bit was scratched out on page two, and we pretty much followed the format, right, Kim? Yes. Okay. So everybody's had a chance to read through that. I'll accept a motion. 
A motion to accept policy EHB regulation local records retention schedule for a second read and adoption. Do I hear a second? Second. <coughs> Any further discussion? If not, all in favor? Aye. 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 The ayes have it. Um, policy IHAMA is education related to alcohol, drugs, and tobacco. It's for second read and adoption. And this one, I believe, is, is this a new one? Yeah, it's a new one. Mm -hmm. Favor? I mean, <laughs> motion. <laughs> yeah, okay. the one. The I remember the one of the things we changed was teaching about right, right. Yeah. yeah. So that's fine. Okay. All right. Did, did you hear a motion? Yeah, a motion to accept policy IHAMA regulation local records retention schedule for a second read and adoption. Second. 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 Um, the next one is policy KGF, which is recognition of distinguished or deceased individuals or groups for second read and adoption. This is all, this was one, two that's all new. This, this is, is all new. Yeah. Carries. Okay, so I think we have another meeting. I can't remember when we booked it, but mm -hmm. it's the next week, I think. Yep. Yeah. And we bring the 11th. The 11th? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. 12, 11, 9 a.m. Okay. Well, good job, you guys. It's a lot of policies you yeah, got taken care well, of. Well, there's one that's very long that will be coming. It's about eight <laughs> pages. <laughs> Uh, a lot. We'll try to send it out way in advance. <laughs> Thank you. Patty's done some really, really great work. To yeah. Yes, she did. Thank you, Patty. She she did did a lot of I made some comments. Did you make any comments on what I saw? Oh, All the time. No, I didn't make any <laughs> It was like on the last page. It's like, okay, who's going to do this? Okay. Um, superintendent's report. Um, we have, I've got, it's not public. Okay. Okay, just a, just a couple of things. We've talked about some things already. Um, our consultant who's working with us on the curriculum based in, uh, instruction or education uh, will be here again tomorrow. That's a, again the, the work that we're doing with uh, Ellen Hugh Howard and uh, SAU 36. Uh, so they'll be continuing their work on, the, I, I, I've looked at quite a bit of the work that they've done so far. They're taking the, the state competencies and indicators along with some that other schools have used and some of the things that we have locally as well and uh, putting that together. So that, that work is ongoing, continues, and uh, they are getting quite a bit done on that. Uh, school infrastructure fund, we talked about that and, and items that uh, that I will be submitting to the state for their consideration. But again, that's just a fund that was established uh, this year with some uh, with some leftover funds to address uh, immediate safety concerns uh, with schools. CTE equipment upgrades, I've mentioned this a bit, Al mentioned it I think at a, at a previous meeting, uh, but he just, he did want me to, to just Tell you tonight, he's working on it and putting together some uh, some proposals that will come out of the uh, capital uh, fund that we that we have for CTE to do some upgrading of uh, some uh, equipment uh, pieces of equipment uh, specifically. I think in the technology as well as the uh, uh, broadcasting areas. 
I've met, um, you know, meet with, see, I see my colleagues from the North Country quite a bit, <coughs> various meetings. I see them at the, the monthly uh, North Country Superintendents meeting. I see them when, our, when we meet uh, uh, with the North Country Educational Services. And in addition to that, I've tried to seek them out uh, here recently to just get some ideas of what they're doing with food service, the things that they're doing with uh, insurance programs. Other, other ways that we may consider working together in the future, either formally or informally, uh, with staffing and programs and, and so on. So uh, I continue to do that and, uh, and thank them for, again, taking the time to, to brainstorm and, again, look at ways that we can use resources uh, in the region more, more effectively. And then finally, holiday concerts. Uh, we mentioned these a little bit in, in passing or at the beginning. Uh, but there's three events, uh, at, least, at least three events coming up in the next week. Tomorrow night, uh, uh, middle school, high school, 6.30. Uh, Little Leopards Holiday Ornament Night, then on December 6th, that's Wednesday, 6 o'clock. And then next, uh, next uh, week, December 13th at Lakeway, which is 6 o'clock also. Let me make sure of that date. Yeah. Lakeway Holiday uh, Concert. And then the Friends of Lakeway Holiday Shop, and I'm not sure what all that, that includes, but I, I know that's a, an event that they're doing. I'm, I'm assuming that helps with, uh, with some of the activities they're doing. Kim can probably It's an perhaps. event that um, was started by Jen Stroker, mm -hmm. a parent, a few years ago. And it, the idea is that parents and community donate items that they don't use any longer, gently used items, and uh -huh. that the students have the opportunity to come and buy gifts for their families. Uh, so it's great. It's the kindergartners all the way up through the okay. sixth grade, and nothing is priced over a dollar. Okay. And we have people that wrap the gifts for them, and it's it's really great. They're so excited mm -hmm. to come yeah. in just yeah. chomping at the bit to come in there and buy, <laughs> you know, a, a candle for mom. Or <laughs> sometimes you'll see the same gift come back to you. The gift that you <laughs> 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 Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> You shouldn't, I donated. you shouldn't have. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. But it really is a great opportunity for the kids. December 15th, 4 o'clock is what we're showing on our super duper district wide calendar on the website. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's a good time. <laughs> nice. Very, very, that sounds like a great activity. I, I, I kind of knew about that from last year, but I think, but yeah, that's. Yeah. And the parents are not allowed to shop with the students. The parents are in a holding area where there's holding oh, area for <laughs> cookies and well, soft cool. yeah. they're playing and they have headphones on. And usually the sixth grade leadership team helps the younger students uh -huh. make cool. their self a good. selection. So that's nice. Go ahead, it's good. Well all right. <laughs> and that's all I have for the superintendent's report. Steve, can I ask one question? Sure. Uh, or one request. When Al um, mm -hmm. does present yes. the equipment upgrades. Can he bring with that um, maybe this year's and last year's enrollments in those programs so yep. that we can see the enrollments he has in the programs of the sure. equipment he's asking for? Absolutely. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Makes sense. And how long is that contract with Ellen Hume? Is that for the whole year? Yes. Okay. She's here once a month. Okay, so and it's just for this year? Yep. Okay. Um, I think before we go into non-public, I have a couple of other thoughts. <laughs> um, one of them is, do we want to start our school board meetings at 4.30 p.m.? Yeah. We used to. We used to. 4.30. I like 4.30. I, I, I can make it work if I have to. I, well, no, that's not fair. It's just, it's just you get out earlier. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's hard with my commitments at the hospital, but I can, I can try to do it if we need to move that direction. What's everybody else think? We don't need to. Well, 30 is say five. I'm, f I'm fine with either. I mean, was the idea of moving it to 530 so that more of the community would be available mm -hmm. to attend? And yeah, we did that a number of years oh, ago. Oh, good point. It didn't really... No, it didn't. They didn't come. <laughs> no, but we built it and they did not come. <laughs> Just me. Just <laughs> 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 yeah. I mean, can we can we settle halfway and try five instead of four thirty? Sure. Yeah. 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 It was just a thought to try to get us out of here. Yeah, that'll work better for me. 
Oh, okay, good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'll compromise on that. And I know. So you're starting that you're starting that effective next meeting or next calendar year? How about January first? That calendar year. Okay. 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 The real calendar year. The real calendar year. <laughs> okay. But not on that day, of course. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. At least no. So the consensus is that the board meeting start times will be at 5 p.m. beginning in January of 2018. Um, I, have, I have another question. In our annual report, maybe this should be discussed in the public. Okay. Unless it's to do with us. Who cares about us? <laughs> I care about me. <laughs> so anyway, I would entertain a motion to move into the public. Does Jen have anything? I do not. Okay. I do not. Okay. Okay. I would like I would like her include her at the beginning. Uh, yes, I was going to ask her to come in anyway. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Is that you do? Everybody yeah. for Jerry. I'll go. Yeah. I'll make a motion entering to non-public session under paragraph two, section three of the RSA ninety one A colon three of the right to know law for number two, the hiring of any person as a public employee. Number three, matters that would adversely affect the reputation of any person other than a member of the board. Taking with us the superintendent, the business manager, Patty, and the principal of the high school. Right. One year, second. Second. So, Paul, well, thank you for coming. Sure, great coach. I'll share your, what's in, knowing I'll share your, 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 your,